Hi guys, I just had a question from one of my students regarding forces on a ramp or an inclined plane. Um, the question is, we have a 125 kilo block sliding down a ramp with an incline of 27 degrees at a constant velocity of 1.12 meters a second. What is the friction force acting on it? And by it, it, prob it I mean the box. So, before we start this question, we need to figure out what forces are actually acting on this box. So first of all, the most, well, the first force we're going to have to worry about is the force due to gravity. So that's the one that's going straight down through the box's center of mass. And it looks like that. And it is measured by the box's mass times the gravitation, gravi acceleration due to gravity, sorry. The next force we have is what's called the normal force or force normal to the plane and that is a reaction force of the weight of the or the mass of the box because Newton said for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. The box is pushing down on the slope so the slope has to provide a normal force perpendicular to the slope, like such. So well, let's just draw our arrow. And this, we'll call this force normal. Cool. Now, the other force, and in this case, a lot of physics questions will say this is a frictionless plane, blah de blah de blah but in this case, we don't have a frictionless plane. We have a friction adding, um, acting on this box. So the force of friction is going to be going counter to the direction of the box because the box is, the box's motion is going down the ramp. So we're gonna have a force of friction that's going in the opposite direction to that. So, Let's try and go about solving this question. So to start with, what we know is we know that the velocity of the box is constant. So if the velocity of the box is constant, what that tells us, obviously, is that the acceleration is equal to zero. And if the acceleration equals zero, what we can imply from that is that the, the net force has to equal zero, or they have to be equal and opposite. So, what we're gonna do first is we're going to have to calculate the magnitude of the mass vector, which is in the parallel to the plane. So what we have to do is we're going to have to draw a triangle. And so we have a line there and a line there. Now this is a right angle triangle, which is similar to the, the large ramp that we have. Now this angle here is also 27 degrees. And what we're going to do is first of all work out what mg is. So mass times gravity, which is going to be equal to 125 times Cool. And the component of this force in the per in parallel direction to the plane, this is the angle here. This is the hypotenuse of the triangle. This is the opposite side, so we're going to use sine, is going to be, so this one here, this force is going to be equal to mg 
sine of the angle, which is 27. And that is equal to 556.7. Cool. So because the acceleration is equal to zero, that and that implies the net force is equal to zero. And the way we can get this implication is because we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So if this is equal, if acceleration is equal to zero, the force has to be equal to zero. So what that means is that the force of friction has to be equal and opposite to the component of the box's mass parallel to the plane. So basically what we can conclude now quickly is that, just change our color, we can write therefore, Um, the force of friction will be 556.7 newtons in the opposite direction to the box's motion. Now, the reason that I had to write down what direction the force of friction is going to be, because force is a vector quantity, so it has to So, very, quite a simple question. You just need to make sure you understand what is going on in terms of this force triangle. You've got the force acting down, straight down, which is to do with the box's mass. And then that force straight down is broken up into two components. The force parallel to the ramp and the force perpendicular to the ramp, which is going to be then, this here will give us the normal force. So... In this case, we only had to use this force, but in other questions, it may ask you for the force normal to the, to the slope. So I hope that helped, and I'll see you again next time.